Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create automotive lighting in Unreal Engine 5. Back in 2020, I signed a contract with Gunther Works, which is a major Porsche restaurant company that makes perfect Porsche 911s and they cost around 1.2 million each uh, to create a 3D car configurator for them. After six months of hard work, this is what we came up with. Of course, I can't really show you a lot of things and I can't really go into details because the configurator is not available for public view, but I can tell you that almost everything on the car is configurable and this is all has been achieved with Unreal Engine 5. Uh, during this six months process, I learned a lot of things and today I will do a quick video, a short video into how to create perfect lighting for your cars in Unreal Engine 5 and some small details that you need to consider in order to achieve the maximum quality required. Let's get started. Uh, this is the basic scene that I have in Unreal Engine and if you look closely I have a simple uh, ceiling uh, lighting uh, from the sky, uh, ceiling. Uh, it's a basic uh, light material in Unreal Engine 5 uh, with uh, intensity multiplier put put into the emissive color and it doesn't look good at all if you look closely you can see that it doesn't look good at all so what we're going to do here is to simply put another ceiling light in here to fill out the whole whole scene and this is a uh, box with cham chamfered angles in order to create the gradient ramp uh, in the background. And this whole light fills the scene uh, with the proper lighting. The next thing we are going to do is to create a real rear rectangular light to highlight this perfect a rear part of this Porsche 911. Of course, it's not. This is not a Gunther Works car. It's a, a new 911, but it doesn't really matter at this in this case. The next thing we are going to do is to put a spotlight. This spotlight will give a nice uh, illumination on the floor first of all, and it will brighten the whole front part, creating this sharp. Uh, shadow underneath the car and obviously the two lights that I showed you in the Mustang video uh, on the sides to uh, light the side parts the, to lit the side parts of the car and all these lights have one thing in common they have a ray tracing shadow enabled uh, this is a paramount thing to have because shadows, the quality of shadows affect the realism of the whole scene. The next thing uh, you need to do is to go to edit, project settings. Of course, you need to turn on the ray, uh, ray tracing and after that you need to go to G buffer settings. G buffer. And turn high precision normals. If you turn them off in the reflections, you will uh, see jagged and broken edges of the re reflected surfaces. So you always need to turn the high precision normals on. The next thing that I need to do uh, when dealing with automotive materials is to uh, do the command R reflections that denoiser that zero. Why? Because Unreal Engine comes by default with denoiser on in order to optimize the rendering and remove the noise in the scene. So if I turn it on, it's gonna get blurry in the reflections. You can see it right now. If I turn it off, you can see how crispy the reflections um, appear uh, on this part of the car. Again, on off. So make sure you turn the uh, reflection denoiser off always. The other thing that we need to uh, that we need to do is we need to remember that lumen, of course, is good, but when dealing with car paint, 
the whole car basically is a reflection of its environment. Back in 2022, when I was using Unreal to create the configurator, uh, lumen reflections was not, not good at all. They were blurry, they didn't work properly. Of course, in 5.5 and uh, within these two years, they updated the lumen reflections a lot. So now, even when I look at the car, sometimes I think it's better to have the lumen. So let's go to post-process volume and see the difference. And I'll tell you how to understand which is a better option in your case. Uh, in the reflections panel, if I search for reflections, you can see I have a standard ray tracing deprecated. Let's change to lumen. This latest lumen update really looks good. I like it. Maybe if I if I do something new, uh, maybe I'll choose lumen reflections in this case. But how to check which one is more realistic? Uh, I've created a simple camera from this angle and this angle. And the best way to check is, of course, to compare it with the ground truth rendering, which is, in our case, is the path tracing. So let's go to path tracing and let it render. So path tracing is done. Let's go back to Lumen. This is the Lumen render. Again, I'm going to do a screenshot and I'll paste it into Photoshop. And the third version will be the ray traced version. The ray traced looks a bit dark, but I'm sure uh, on the angles it's going to create a more accurate um, visualization of the reflections. Okay guys, we have these three versions right now. So ray tracing, lumen, path tracing. So you can see the path tracing and lumen Mm, the, uh, the most different difference they have is in these uh, parts with where we have a translucent glass and that of course the GI the whole reflection thing on the path tracing looks good but lumen looks good as well and let's do the let's check the path tracing versus ray tracing so this is path tracing versus ray tracing if I zoom in you can see that ray tracing is um, a bit dark, but on the edges, ray tracing, I think, produces a better visual quality than, than lumen. It's my opinion in this case, it might change, I don't know, but for now, I will go with ray tracing option. Okay, let's, let's check, check it again. So, path tracing, ray tracing. Of course, we will get a darker visual when using a ray tracing, but we need to find a way to compromise. Uh, so the best way is to go to um, visual effects, uh, sorry, volumes, and we, we can find a color correction region, color correction region. Uh, this color correction region will give us an op uh, ability to tweak the color grading values only on the selected region. So let's put it here around this rim and go to uh, color. Let's go to um, color grading settings, global gain, and let's increase it. I'm, I just want to show you what effect it's going to have on, on the car. You see, now we have a very bright uh, rim or a very bright tire. Basically, what we can do is to is to create a region. Let's say we want to brighten this door up, scale this region enough. And simply tweak the gain value, 1.5 let's say. This is with on and this is with off. 
This is basically a visual trick that you can use to sculpt the lighting on your car the way you want to the way you want to do it. And basically that's it. Put some lights, check the lights in real time, use color correction regions and and that's it nothing nothing else to do and always use ray, tra ray trace shadows so i always have been fascinated with cars in 3d especially and after Gantaworks project uh, the thing that came up in my mind is to create a global 3d car configurator with the most um, and the best quality possible and we did a small NDP minimum viable product to give to users and to test and to understand their feedback. Uh, I will put a link to that product. It's called, uh, it's cost only $1. You can purchase it on itch.io. So this is the, uh, this is the itch.io uh, link to the car, uh, link to the configurator. Simply you can buy now and download a txt file in that txt file you will have two links the one link will take you to the online pixel streaming game of the 3d car configurator and the second link will take you to the unreal engine scene where you can download and test your own cars in it that's it guys if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and i'll see you soon bye